Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac After Birth After Boyth um, We're gonna do some greed mode today Everybody's beating greed mode, that's exciting I kind of feel like we should do a um, I mean I like playing Eden just cause it's weird So let's do some Eden greed Greed mode Now we can get fucked on the start or we can get a great start 2 HP is pretty good uh, Mom's Pearls Sack of Pennies and Pandora's Box. Did we get Eden's Blessing on our last run too? Or is something something strange afoot here? I don't know when to use Pandora's Box. So I have chosen to use it right now. I have regretted this decision immensely. But I've also like... Oh, that sucks. <laughs> I've chosen to use Pandora's Box at like... Later times on Greed Mode. And I've never been pleased with it. I've always just been like, ah shit. This time it just gave us like... You know, two keys, two bombs. I mean, it's not bad. It's an okay start, but it's it's nothing to write home about, of course. Wait a minute. Do we have... We have a sack of pennies. Oh, that's... <laughs> I didn't even notice. I'm so used to being like, ah, sack of pennies. You know, it's, it's just sort of there. It doesn't do that much for us. On greed mode, sack of pennies is kind of like... It's like living off the interest, you know? It's like being a an aristocrat. And, uh, and, and living off the interest of, you know, your family's old money, basically. I'm okay with this. I can get down with old money, new money. It, it's all the same uh, to the shop, basically, as long as it's not pre-war money. Then they give you a shit exchange rate, which honestly seems fair, given that, you know, bottle caps are the newfound currency of the Commonwealth. Um, oh, well, nice meme, NL. Nice meme. 2015! Is the year of... All jokes are memes in 2015, man. Kids these days. This has been my first kids these days moment. They'd be like, hey, a uh, duck walks into a bar, blah, 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 punchline, and then finally. Nice meme, dad. It's not a meme, kids. It's a joke. We tell them from time to time. I gave Nick a code for a game. We're going to play on the NLSS today. He has responded to me in the Skype chat with a picture. We don't use words in this society anymore, just pictures. So now, because the show starts relatively soon, i got to pause this. Click on the link. See what the picture is. Um, it, it's, uh, he was looking at the end user licensing agreement, as one is wont to do, and it said there was an error loading this end user licensing agreement. So I'm looking at this and I'm like, well, at the very least, we should use a key here in case it gives us a penny. But then do we really want to open that, uh, golden chest? I don't think that's necessary. Instead, we'll get Cricket's body, which I think is a really good item for us. Our range is going to be a little par, a little, a little pa, a little subpar as a result of that. I do think we'll buy this. I think we'll buy HP. Is HP lame? Hell yeah, dog. You and me know it's the lamest. You know, this isn't your grand, uh, granddad's greed mode run. We don't want to be buying just raw HP upgrades when we could be getting dope shit like the D100. But, you know, at the same time, maybe the most badass thing you could possibly do is, is buy sensible items, you know? Maybe being a real badass, a uh, rebel without a cause, is, uh, you know, contributing to your 401k and making sure that you can retire safely and take care of, you know, yourself and, and your loved ones. Maybe eating 5 to 10 servings of vegetables a day is, uh, is the most metal thing you can do in order to, you know, preserve your sanctity as a paragon of the counterculture. I'm just throwing it out there. I didn't say it is. I just said maybe. Now, Mega Fatty's gonna die real quickly here. I think we've already gotten all the money we're gonna get. So, we won't be able to buy anything else except another key if we want. I'd rather wait to buy a key until the next floor, because a key is never going to be more expensive than five cents. But if we go to the next floor, our first key could be three cents. Um, you know, there, there's a non-zero chance of that, so we could save two cents by doing that. And if we'd save two cents, well, we only would have been one cent away from actually making something happen on uh, our final amount of money here. But honestly, this has been a really good floor for us, uh, just from the standpoint of, uh, of upgrading ourselves here. We've got an HP upgrade. We got uh, Cricket's Body, which is the Tears Up, plus the, the excellent splash damage. And uh, another HP upgrade, now that I think about it, from uh, Blue Cap, which is another Tears upgrade as well. Leech, I think, is uh, a really good item for Greed Mode. I also have not internalized the fact that uh, Leech is apparently a Deal with the Devil item now, but I'm just thrilled to have Deal with the Devil precedent. Wow. Um... There was still nothing in there that really appealed to me, but that nickel drop from Bag of Pennies is awesome here. Uh, this is uh, this is excellent for us. 
see what we got in here. Mom's purse is like debatably good here. Uh, let's, we'll probably buy a key to start out with just because it's a cheap item. And there's some more HP for us. Yeah, I'm just stoked that we won't have to deal with any bullshit deals with the devil in this run. Or deals with the angels, sorry. Um, yeah, let's buy this. And you know what, I'll come in here as well. We might as well try this. And it worked out very nicely. Uh, because Leech will pay us back anyway. Trinkets can be so valuable, but... I'm gonna shoot for the reroll here. And I think we'll take Lump of Coal because it's the most guaranteed to be good for us. Uh, and if I can buy Skinny God Mushroom, which I know I'll be able to, then we should. Oh, it's, it's just Godhead. Um, Godhead uh, shows up on item, item rooms. The plot thickens here. This is, is pretty good. I'm not gonna bullshit you. Uh, pretty stoked about this. Pretty much, I mean, compare what we're doing right now to the damage that we were doing on our last run. You know, the speed at which we took out those waves. You can see why I'm pretty excited here. Uh, this is this is taking care of any of our problems uh, instantly, basically. We'll take Odd Mushroom. We'd we'll love to get the Halo, and uh, I think we will fairly easily be able to. My thinking is, um, let's not save money yet. Even though we've already established that the most metal thing you can do is be fiscally responsible and, you know, spend within your budget. Um... Instead, I'm gonna try to like buff myself up as strong as possible early and then hopefully we'll be able to start saving money I mean maybe as early as the next floor to be honest with you like this is just disgusting damage uh, And I mean we already have lump of coal, so I guess it's, it's gonna be lump of coal, which is what I was gonna say there obviously uh, I don't know if these stack on top of one another, but we're firing very very quickly. I I'm feeling pretty good about this run it could go south, uh, but it probably won't, based on how it looks right now. Pageant Boy, totally fine in, um... Oh, there's a nickel in that, uh... In that poop as well. You don't hear that too much. Uh, but Pageant Boy, yeah, totally fine for our current situation. Uh, this is a bit of a weird one. I think I'll start with buying a key. I don't think anything else here is really worth it, but maybe the chest... Probably... Ah, this is a tough one. I think I'll take Virgo. But it wasn't an easy decision. I think Spider-Mon is okay. But I'd rather honestly pick up uh, maybe the scab. And the reason we're going to do that is is I will need HP. Like in order to ensure that I don't squander this run, HP is going to be necessary. The last thing that I might want to buy here, it doesn't have to be on this floor, but you know, the last thing I want to buy like in the future uh, to guarantee us the best chance possible of a win might be just a, a spacebar item. Something like the D7 actually allows you to donate, like, nearly endlessly. Because after you beat Ultra Greed, you go back in time, fight him again, donate again with, with the same amount of money you started with. But the machine is persistent. The machine keeps the, the donations that have been have been made to it. So we'll try to... We don't need the luck upgrade too badly. I think I will get squeezy here. And honestly, maybe starting as early as our next floor, depending on what's in our deal with the devil here... I think I may be like, that's, this is where we're tapping out. We're still going to get our free items on the next few floors. We're still going to get, you know, our, our deals with the devil and stuff like that. But we don't really need too much more to, to do this one. So hopefully when we finish this fight, we'll get um, enough money to buy something from our shop. We didn't. I thought maybe Sack of Pennies would hook us up, but no big deal. Let's uh, head down to the next floor. Again, I'm only really going to prioritize keys if they give me a, a three cent deal, in which at which case that seems like a good idea. This is going to be a very fast run as well, it seems like, so we'll come in here. Uh, this is good, that means we don't have to buy a key. We finally have a trinket. Infested is okay, we'll, we'll pick up the trinket. We have a spacebar item, it's not a great one. But we do have Virgo, so it's not necessarily bad. Um, fanny pack screw? I mean, these are looking like the kinds of items where now I'm like, just, who cares about these? Just save money. I think that might be a good idea for us. Just save money here. So we're just going to fill the screen with as much bullshit as we possibly can. And by bullshit, I mean our tears. You know, the lifeblood of our run here. I think we've got enough HP to feel good about this. Godhead has shown up with, like, really surprising regularity, man. On, uh, on greed mode runs, specifically. Okay, what's our pill? I can see forever. Well, we will check to see if that actually works for us here. Um, there are secret rooms in greed mode. 
Although there isn't crying in baseball, in case you're curious. I know that's a common uh, point of contention. Well, that was just... I was going too fast. No secret room there. Could be a secret room here. No secret room. Secret room, okay. Beautiful. I mean, technically, I guess it's not terrible for us. Uh, I think we'll, we'll finish off this entire floor, and then we'll decide whether or not we want to buy, like, one more HP upgrade. I really don't think we'll need it, even though greed is kind of, like, pseudo-scaling health. Or at least a lot of health. But let's see what we get from our deal with the devil first. If we get, like, four deals we want to take or something like that, obviously I'm going to be more prone to be like, yeah, that seems like we should probably buy some more HP to keep ourselves afloat here. But as it looks right now, you know, things are looking pretty good. Especially with this double lump of coal action, which I actually assume just does nothing for us. Um, two more black hearts. I think that's as close as we can get to a license of not needing um, more red hearts. Perks. Well, again, we're at least learning about these pills. Shoal. Man, I can't believe we still have uh, item rooms going here. I feel so strong already. Binky, eh. You know, works us towards the baby transformation, I guess. Uh, I'm not. On this one, Godhead is one of those items that I'm just not going to do D4, D100 nonsense with. Missing no as well. Which means, unfortunately, there's not much we want here. I could buy a 7 cent D10. I think we just want to save our money, honestly. As boring as it may sound... Yeah, Paralysis. That seems like a good pill. Keep that in with Virgo for sure. As boring as it may sound, we may just save our money. If we get above 99 cents, then I would love to buy something else on this floor. We could always, you know, buy an HP upgrade. We could always just buy something to get a reroll on the shop, basically, because it constantly restocks. But, uh... Yeah, I was like, these guys have got to be dead soon. Um, I, I don't really want to invest in uh, in the D100 knowing that I don't really want to use it. I don't at all want to use it. And I really, really don't want to invest in Missing No. Because unlike the D100, you know, picking up Missing No means that you are... You're all in. And we're already all in. In, in a good way, though. Not in a shit way, which is ideal for us, I think. So... That's a lot of money. We got a lot of spirit hearts here too, which means why not come in here, grab ourselves an Ansu's rune, pop it, see where our secret room is, take our spirit heart back, and then uh, blow these guys up. Okay, Cricket's head. Nope, uh, but money. And we got an extra bomb because of the fuse cutters. I don't think we're going to get over 99 cents, but we're going to get close enough that I do feel like buying uh, an HP upgrade, even though it pushes a spirit heart out, is not a bad uh, idea for us. And then also we got, uh, afterwards, the um, another item we didn't want to get. It was experimental treatment. So that means that we're totally like guilt-free to not spend money on the rest of this floor. No problems there. And remember, like 99 cents is a luxury. Even if we have 99 cents, we probably won't be able to donate all 99 to Greed. We'll probably be able to donate, like... Well, I don't want to say probably, because it, you know, betrays my underlying ignorance of statistics, but... Um, we could, we're could, we likely, maybe, to be able to donate, like, uh, in the 50s, for sure. And then, dispropor or proportionally less likely in the 70s, 80s, 90s, etc. Hmm. That's my way of saying, I don't know. Black Candle's not worth it, I think. Um, we're not using our keys for anything else, so why not do this? Might as well take that. Uh, and we'll try some rerolls. You know, there could be an amazing item we want. Cube of Meat is really good on the Ultra Greed fight. Synth Oil is pretty awesome as well. And I think maybe that's where we say, enough's enough. We got 41 cents left over. And um, we're probably going to be able to get to, like... Without being too optimistic, probably like 70 at the very least. Especially if uh, Sack of Pennies helps us out so much. In all things considered, we probably could have gone a little less ham on the shops here. You know, we probably could have let an HP upgrade or two slip away. Saved an extra 15 cents to maybe be able to donate more in the future, but... I don't really think it, it has too much of an impact. Again, like our, our odds of donating over like 50 or 60 cents... 
They get a lot worse, just due to the law of large numbers. Which, please don't take that as statistical truth, rather, it's just my own uh, ignorance of statistical, you know, probability, but, uh... What I'm getting at is you have to weigh the the symbolic number of 99 against the, the odds of that perfect situation not exactly happening the way you plan it to. Um, which is fairly likely. Okay, so we're just, like, steamrolling these enemies. No problem. Virgo's given us the occasional invincibility. We have another deal with the devil, of course. Uh, we'll definitely take Fear Shot. I actually don't think we want Abaddon, as strange as that sounds. The only reason I took Fear Shot is because it's also a damage upgrade, of course, but I don't think we want Abaddon because it's going to compromise our HP a little bit. Actually, now that, ah, eh, maybe it would give us HP, but it doesn't really matter. We should win very easily regardless. The extra damage upgrade is just like the icing on the cake, right? Oh, we do have a secret room over here. Okay. <laughs> I guess we'll go down to the next floor. Um, and we'll, we'll get ready for the fight here. This is going to be a super fast run. But that is uh, all right by me for sure. And then we got to 25 cents anyway. so Or we got to 99 cents anyway. So we should have spent more maybe. But I'm, I'm not going to sweat the Abaddon. Uh, failed Abaddon pick up too, too much here. So the most important thing here is don't let him heal too much. Don't let him take your coins. When when you can avoid it, at least. And definitely, like, yeah, kill these. I'm assuming because we have so much damage, we're going to be able to take out his, uh, his Riff Raff pretty quickly there. We can also bump into these coins with Cube of Meat, but if we can just avoid having to do that, that's awesome as well. So far, this fight is going really well. Which, you know, I, I lay pretty much 100% of the thanks for that at the feet of Godhead. Probably could get through this, you know, in all likelihood without getting hit, or a much less likelihood of getting hit, but I, uh... I don't really care. I'd rather play a little bit more aggressively and, and finish the fight than, than try to, like, perfect this guy. We're doing a really good job, relative to where we used to be, of, of picking up all the coins. Like, I used to be like, why does this guy never die? And then he'd use bombs, blow up the greed statues, pick up the coins that they spawn, pick up the coins that I spawn when I get hit by him, and, uh, you know, just be completely clueless. But now that I have a little bit more of a, kind of like a firm strategy for fighting Ultra Greed, speaking of firm, those glutes, right? But, uh, I think we're doing a lot better. Man, I Tyrone tweeted, this is like a, a pretty insular joke, but you remember that, like, Magic the Gathering crack style? It's like the number one Reddit post of all time, or number two, or something like that. Um... Where the guy went to the Magic the Gathering tournament and took pictures of himself looking like he's, you know, hard as hell on a rap cover, or the cover of a rap album, looking at all their butt cracks. There was a picture that Tyrone tweeted, which he probably got from somewhere else, uh, of that picture but Greed's, Ultra Greed's butt, and I was like, that's, that's pretty good. Oh, uh, I laughed a little bit, which was, it marks the first and only time that Tyrone has ever brought a smile to my face, or really brought me anything but, uh, you know, pain and suffering. Uh, this is going real good. Real good. If we don't donate at least 50 cents, I'm gonna be a little bit disappointed. But, we're gonna jam ourselves back here. That was a really, really easy, uh, Eden run. And if you noticed, we're actually kind of like, it's a shit streak, but we're building a streak nonetheless, man. And this has been a, an interesting streak because we're doing it while also trying to knock things like Mega Satan, you know, greed mode grinding out. And, they, like, runs like this are the reason that people are like, LOL, NL, you're never going to unlock the Keeper. I'm like, come on, man. Look at this. We've donated, like, if you donate 40 cents per run, that only takes you, like, 20 runs to do. Now, 40 cents per run is not necessarily, I mean, my math is off, obviously, but it takes you, like, 24 runs or 25 runs to do. Um, oh, Eve now starts with a razor blade. That's interesting. Um... You know, you gotta look forward to the future. I'm probably not gonna unlock it this week, but we're making great progress. We're almost halfway there already. And largely, that's on the back of, like, two uh, really recent uh, good runs, so... I wonder if we hurt ourselves. Did we drop money in here? No. Thought maybe we would. Alright, well, uh, what's done is done. See you later, Ultra Greed. Thanks for uh, allowing me to donate so much, and if you enjoyed the episode, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.